video we will see uh, how we can do remote debugging in Spring Boot application like um, I have written a Spring Boot REST web service and how we can do um, remote debugging in IntelliJ ID so first of all I have already written the controller here I will just run it and show you uh, so it is up at port 8080 so this is postman I will do a get all um, call basically get all will get all the data of a student of all these students so I did and you can see like here we got the data now let's see we want to let's say we want to do remote debugging for this then how we can do that that I'm going to show you so first of all um, I will just stop this okay and I will tell you the steps so first of all here if we go here in this run configuration here we can from here we see this drop down from here we can go to edit configurations now this run oblique debug configuration tab will open uh, also just a minute I will tell you another thing if you are not getting this um, from here then you should go in run and in run you will find edit configurations so click on this this pop-up will come uh, this pop-up reads as run oblique debug configuration uh, click on this add new configuration now in add new configuration you will get a list so in this find remote JVM debug click on this uh, give it a name maybe I can give service remote debug okay I've given this name uh, give the port you want like um, like here it is localhost give any port you want like if you by default it has given 5005 uh, but you can change this like you can give 8001 or 5050 uh, let's say to just to demonstrate I'm um, change in change that to 8001 but you can keep that as 5005 as well like no issue in that okay uh, do this and copy this uh, the command line argument for remote JVM copy this uh, I have copied it from my keyboard apply and ok so we are good with it we have copied it so after copying we go to our application like here this application is mongodb application so I come here now from mongodb app in in mongodb applications I went to edit configuration now here you you, you see like one is there for remote debugging and another is um, for Spring Boot MongoDB application uh, like this package project name I have given uh, MongoDB application so that's why it's writing MongoDB application your project name might be different um, so obviously the name should be different but uh, yeah here in MongoDB application I go to VM options and in this VM options I paste that option okay that I had copied from here if you come here you will see that uh, we had seen this right uh, see in this command I had copied it this and I went to Spring Boot 1 and there I pasted okay then I click on apply and then ok right so now I will run uh, my application run mongodb application I am running this so my service is up at port 8080 okay currently I have put no um, no deb uh, debugging uh, debug points you can see here by view deb uh, view breakpoints you see like I have not put any breakpoint none no, none of the line breakpoints just done and if I come here I will click get all I get my response here 
let's now put some debug points let's say uh, 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 this is the get all um, con um, mapping so let's say put one breakpoint here and then we have this uh, percentage function in class entity let's I put a method breakpoint here so in method breakpoint if you know like uh, in the method entry and method exit that line breakpoint will be called so done now I will go to service remote debug this is the name that I had given okay service remote debug and here you will see we see the option of debug service remote um, debug okay this is the button I will click this so in console we see the we see the message connected to target VM so this is the localhost 8001 and now go in debug tab here and now if we click send in from my postman you see here it is still in waiting state as I have put a breakpoint here the code uh, execution has paused here now if I want to go inside the function I can go using step into if I want to come out I can say step out if I want to uh, resume program to the next breakpoint I can just click resume program and you see like function breakpoint is working I can use step over to go inside the function I can hover over this subject to see what uh, what are the data that subject object is keeping so this is how we do this uh, remote debugging we can stop the response is still awaited so we will just do a stop here and you can see from console it is disconnected and we can see the response here so this is how we do uh, remote debugging in Spring Boot um, in IntelliJ ID uh, keep in mind that here if we go in edit configuration here I have given local host and the port okay because my service is running locally but if your service is running in some other another IP address and another port you can edit this and put uh, that correct host name and port name here after that this line will uh, automatically get edited with the configuration that you have added just copy that go to spring boot and the application name and paste it in the vm options yeah that's it guys thank you